My name is Iyad Rahwan and I just founded the Center for Humans and Machines at the Max Planck Institute for Human Development in Berlin. The discipline of artificial intelligence, which is where I started my study, um, is an engineering discipline that has the goal of building intelligent machines. Um, so the idea is you look at other intelligent behavior in the world, like human intelligence or animal intelligence, and then you try to mimic that uh, by engineering clever algorithms, uh, having algorithms that learn on their own, and so on. But your goal is always to engineer a particular behavior that you have in mind before. The discipline of machine behavior is the other side of this coin. Once the machines have been engineered and deployed, how do you then observe them in the real world and how they interact with each other, with humans, individual humans, as well as groups of humans. So machine behavior is a discipline of the behavioral sciences and uh, one should be able to study machine behavior without understanding necessarily how those machines are built. A machine could be uh, designed to achieve one goal but then uh, once you deploy it, it starts doing other things. Maybe because we cannot anticipate all of the effects of this uh, algorithm on the news or on misinformation online or what have you. And I think it's a, behavioral scientists have a lot to offer to uh, help us understand these entities, especially now that they are very much per, uh, permeating our world. We carry algorithms, AI algorithms with us with our cell phones, uh, they, they serve us news, they recommend music and products to us, um, they even suggest things for us to say uh, to our friends and so on. So I think it's imperative to bring in uh, the behavioral sciences. So, so I would say machine behavior is really an invitation to people from other disciplines outside of computer science to help us understand the things that we are building. Ten years from now, it would be amazing if we had some kind of broad theory of different kinds of behaviors that machines can exhibit. Um, we have a fairly sophisticated theory of human behavior. Uh, we understand human decision making, human errors, when humans can be uh, rational or irrational, what kind of mistakes they make, and so on. But we don't have a similar theory of machines. It would be nice if we could have um, some kind of systematic way of saying there are three types of autonomous vehicle behavior or there are five types of uh, recommender system behavior. It doesn't matter how these systems learn, how they're engineered, but they somehow uh, exhibit these kind of classes or types of behavior. So we're kind of in a stage where we're building um, a broader theory of all of this that I think is still lacking.